Hello, this is Steve Dicroic Glassman on YouTube, and now my latest channel, Stained Glass Man US on YouTube. Hey, I'm really starting to pile up now on the Dichroic bevels and jewels that I'm getting ready to release on my website, dichroicglassman.com. In this video, I'm going to show you some other really cool tricks. These are stock bevels that you've seen on the internet. A one and a half inch square, one inch square, a diamond, a half circle, a circle. This is a half a two inch circle. This is a two inch circle. You, this is a bevel dine bevel. Well, actually, that's a zipper. Bevel dines look just like it. Here's a bevel dine bevel once I got done with it. Put some RBA cyan dark dark red on it. These are some of my dichroic creations that are going to be available soon. Check that out. Is that little cool little bevel cluster? And stock um, jewels, you've seen this, especially a lot of the people, Victorian jewels and such. As long as it's got a flat back like this, totally flat back, I can coat it with dichroics. And these ain't from the top, by the way. Not those, not those dichroics that don't give you any dichroic effect. Because after all, dichroic effect is achieved when you look through the layers like my, one of my cabochons. This has got a clear coat top, and you create the effect with the layering. That's the whole idea behind dichroic glass. But those other bevels that are you can find on the internet right now, they're coated on the top. Well, what kind of a dichroic effect is that going to be if I took this jewel and coated it on the top? What you'd really want to do is see it from the back side. So you can utilize and realize the dichroic effect fully through the thickness of the glass. I mean, that, isn't that what it's all about, dichroic glass? All my dichroic creations, as you see here, all coated on the back. And by the way, you can't scratch them. Not like those bevels that are available out there on the internet where you can scratch them by rubbing them. Actually, literally, you can scratch them by rubbing them. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Check out that. This is green magenta. Both these two are green magenta Aurora Borealis. Three faceted jewels. Three quarter inch, two inch by two inch, one inch by one inch. Aurora Borealis faceted jewels. I do this. I could do all in any dichroic glass effect color that CBS makes. Coatings by Sandberg. Now when you start talking those possibilities, wow, we're talking incredible. On um, previous vi video I said there's like over 2,800 possibilities. Well, I forgot my excitement. I don't write a script. In my excitement, after I cut the video and posted it on YouTube, I realized, oh my gosh, they got over 2,800 versions, varieties, and more because there's so many textures of fusing glass from ripple to granite to all the various. So, geez, my fault. As far as this goes, I'll bet I've got, I'm going to check with Howard tomorrow, but I probably have upwards of 100 or 200 different dichroic glass effects slash colors that I can uh, do in dichroic bevels. Well, here's what this video is about. If you've done a lot of stained glass over the years, of course, again, you've seen these stock shapes, but what about all the bevels you've accumulated, like this, from the circles, the Mika circles, to the smaller circle bevels, when you put these together it makes a beveled circle. Well, what about all the clusters that you've, that I've used over the years? Check out this. Can you imagine what that's going to look like coated with Dicra? Woohoo! I don't accumulate a lot of these. In fact, this is all I've got. But whatever bevel cluster I got these from, I saved them. The pieces. Whatever bevel cluster I used this many times it, that I did not use this centerpiece or whatever, wherever it came from, I've accumulated them and I've saved them. Look at this. Isn't this going to be spectacular then in Dicro? And then these are some really long circles. They're actually two of them in half would make an oval. Uh, let's see, a 3 by 5 oval. Then you've seen these arrowheads. Um, forget what cluster they come off of. Seems like it's a BC321. But check this out. If you take that bevel, that arrowhead, you grind that out just a little bit, or you lead people, you can make that work. You put one at both ends, like this. 
and look what you got. Cool, eh? Can you imagine these done in Dicro? Maybe RBA like this, or rainbow like that, or rainbow? Wow. So the possibilities now are going to get incredible. They're going to just start stacking up. I'm wanting to impress people to tell them that there are thousands of possibilities. Not only can I dichroic laminate the stock sizes, colors that you've seen, or stock bevels like you've seen, I can do these odds and ends off of your bevel clusters. I got a box of miscellaneous parts, pieces, parts. This box is because I've got repetitions of them. In other words, I've got st stacks, but I've got another box of just singles. So if I want to do abstracts, I can pull those pieces out, as long as they're not too huge. But, speaking of huge, I've done some bigger stuff, too, I want to tell you. I've done as big as... I don't like to get any bigger than this, but I've done six inch circles. This one, uh, this is a reject, but it's 28.26 square inches. That's a six inch circle. We're not talking about those little quarter inch by quarter inch little things that you're going to see. This is my little diagram <laughs> that I used on the internet, mm -hmm. my little example. It's a little this is a one and a half inch square and I show people the only thing you're getting in dichro is just that center. Can you imagine comparing that center here to all that dichro? And now I could do these circles. I could do those circles in RBA. I can do them in pixie sticks. I can do them on Aurora, Fusion, Reptile, Cool Lava, Hot Lava. I can do Hot Lava Bevels or Cool Lava Bevels. Eh. Not so excited about that, by the way. And if you've used cool and hot lava, they've got some darker areas that I'm not real excited about. So, you might want to think twice about cool and hot lava when you go to the CBS website. So, again, we've all used to seeing these kind of pieces. But how many of you guys are saving your bevel clusters if you've repaired a lot of windows and accumulated a lot of odds and end bevels that you'd really been holding on to? hoping for to make a window one day and I could take these and coat these with dichroic for you so that you can create some crazy possibilities I still love this one here I'm gonna do this one times three and we'll see what that looks like in other words I'm gonna do six of these three of those three of those and then we'll put that together in a video because what I want to do is show you that there's endless 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 possibilities when you start thinking about all the staggering amounts of bevels, odds and ends that you might have. We even even talked about the bevel clusters that I can do. Wait till you see my dichroic hummingbirds. Those GST bevel clusters, glass craft or uh, glass smith, glass smith bevels from Canada. Spectacular hummingbird bevels and dragonflies. Oh, wait till you see the, what I've done with them in dichro. Well, thanks for watching my video. Check out dichroicglassman.com. Pretty soon I'm going to start advertising the prices. So tune in and uh, start wetting your, uh, wetting your salivating and wetting your tongue over the possibilities here. Because it's going to be mind-blowing when you see what's, what I'm capable of doing. And can you imagine what your spectacular artistry and creativity and stained glass is going to look like with my dichroic elements in your work Woohoo! maybe we ought to do a collaboration you guys let's see what we could do and email me if that's something that might interest you collaborating with my dichroic glass elements in your work your artistry maybe we got something to think about thanks again total gratitude for all the kind compliments and comments on my videos thank you very much bye bye <laughs>